know a lot of us are pretty heavy in the networking world. Does anybody know Cynthia Greenwald? She's kind of a networking coach. She used to own a franchise, a BNI franchise in Miami uh, for 15 years, uh, but she moved to New York about 10 years ago. Anyone know? Okay. Cynthia introduced something to me a couple of years ago, which is a little hokey, but I think it is worthwhile, especially since I'm new to um, Thriver or, you know, uh, v 5 the, the, what she introduced me to is when you're getting to know people to, you know, cause we want to do work together or be referred to one another. You know, you've got to know the person, like the person, trust the person. And a good way to accelerate through that process is to go through what she calls the PACE system. And PACE stands for, um, uh, what is it? It's passions. Um, uh, hold on a second. What are, what are the other ones here? We'll get to it in a second. Hold on, next slide. Yeah, pa passions achievements, community, uh, and endeavors. So this presentation today is going to be a little bit more on the personal side. I'll wrap it up with, um, you know, the work that I'm doing and who I do it for. But I thought I would, you know, since, since I'm new to V5O, uh, focus a little bit more on the, uh, the personal side. So um, passions. Like I think most of us here, you know, passionate about the family. Uh, my wife and I, uh, brought in baby number two, child number two this uh, June. Uh, I've got a little girl, Blair, and uh, our newbie is uh, Bo, uh, B-E-A-U. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we live here in Pittsburgh. We left New York uh, in September 2020. Um, but, uh, you know, we love it here in the suburban world, but we've kind of got the best of both worlds. I go back to, uh, to New York every six to eight weeks because my office is still there. And my wife, she, uh, she does um, sales for Dow Chemical. So she's kind of traveling all over the place. But uh, we call Pittsburgh home. In addition to family, um, you know, now that I'm getting old and, and can't play the sports as I did as a younger guy, I've gotten into, you know, golf, squash. Uh, recently got bitten by the, uh, the platform tennis bug. They refer to it as paddle. Having a lot of fun with that. Uh, love my wine, bourbon, big cigar guy. Um, I know everyone, you know, likes to be a foodie. I'm not a foodie, but if I had to tell you my two favorite meals, I'd go with uh, Luigi's Pizza in Brooklyn. I used to live in Park Slope, and uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, I miss it, uh, but it's funny because I know there are, you know, a lot of Houston, Texas people here, and they're all like, "Oh, New York pizza, it's great." I kind of think that New York became a burger town um, the last couple years, and. Uh, so um, my favorite burger, uh, it's at the Breslin. Actually, the Breslin just closed down, it's no longer, but it was a great spot. It was around the corner from uh, my office on uh, 28th or 27th Street. But my understanding is that they, uh, when they closed down the Breslin, one of the uh, executive chefs there opened up a burger spot. So uh, check it out if you're in the area. Uh, so those are my passions. Um, achievements, I am a uh, stage four cancer survivor. This is, uh, this is me with Derek Jeter, uh, one of my, I had a Make-A-Wish. I was uh, treated at Sloan Kettering. My first choice uh, was to meet the Rolling Stones, uh, but they said the Stones were in Europe and they didn't want to wait for, uh, for them to come back to the uh, United States. So uh, my second choice was the Yankees. Uh, not a bad day. Got to meet uh, everyone on the 98 team and that was a, that was a powerhouse team. Um, Liberty Mutual uh, gave me an award when I was with them for a while for most life insurance sales uh, my first year. Uh, that's not really my focus now, but I, I did a lot of life insurance then. Kind of went hand in hand um, with what I had just kind of come out of as a cancer survivor. I was 26 years old and basically uninsurable for life insurance. So sitting across the table from uh, young families and talking about, you know, the need for them to lock in their insurability um, just kind of was, it was genuine, it was sincere, and I think uh, kind of went a long way. Um, the New York Young Insurance Professionals is an association I was part of for a long time. Uh, I did a lot of uh, work for them, growing their membership, and they gave me uh, the 2014 award for uh, Volunteer of the Year, something that uh, I you know hold dear to me. It was a great organization, still is. Um, 
So, uh, and this past, um, or I guess a year ago, I earned my designation as a certified insurance counselor, which um, takes about five years to get. I did it a little bit under that. I take five courses, uh, about 20 hour courses and an exam after each one, but uh, learned a lot, met some really good people and uh, something I'm proud of. Um, as far as community, these are kind of my networks, some for personal, some for, for work. I uh, went to Florida State, so I'm big in the Alumni Association there. Uh, I know we've got a lot of you know, people moving from New York to Florida and expanding in Florida. So um, if, if my Florida connections um, can help anybody in any way, please let me know. Uh, I, went, I finished high school down in uh, West Palm Beach. My, uh, my parents relocated in the early 90s from Long Island to what I call the sixth borough of New York, uh, which was Jupiter, Florida. So, uh, but uh, I'm still a member of the New York Athletic Club, even though I live in Pittsburgh now. When I, when I go back to New York, I, um, I actually stay there. Uh, for anybody in Houston or out of town, if you're ever you know, looking for a place to stay in the city, it's a great spot. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that there are clubs within the club. Uh, at the New York Athletic Club. So it's a great way to network. So if you are in New York, uh, you want to think about joining, let me know. Uh, I was a member of uh, the Knights of the Green Table, uh, which was the billiards uh, social club. I remember uh, we had a conversation the other day about networking uh, while playing pool and drinking beers. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely subscribe to uh, that way of building business. Um, here in Pittsburgh, um, along the St. Clair Country Club, so I get to meet a couple people there. And uh, I am recently the former vice president of BNI Chapter 66. We meet Wednesday nights. Uh, and anybody ever wants to jump on board for a virtual meeting, let me know. We'll probably still be virtual for a while. And uh, I'm a Thrivers 360 guy. So I'm scrambling to find a new spot because Joe just uh, shut down g1 so he's trying to put me in uh, another spot so um endeavors here's a here's a picture of my fraternity house on fire um which was caused by yours truly yeah i actually uh burned down my fraternity house so one of my endeavors is just to be there for my family my friends my network my clients my customers uh because i've been on the other side you know, uh, my my dad's a retired NYPD detective. My mom is a nurse. Uh, when I burnt down the house and we had to make an insurance claim, they had no idea what to do. Uh, I just kind of figured it out on my own by going through the insurance company. And uh, it was painful then. And uh, now that I'm in the business, uh, I never want my clients to feel that way. So, uh, you know, my goal uh, and what I strive to do is, is to be there for them. So, uh, you know, they don't have to go through, uh, you know, a claims experience is, is tough. And uh, I'm here to make it as less painful as, uh, as humanly possible. So, uh, so that's the PACE system. If you're ever doing a one-to-one -one with a, a new, you know, and you're building a new relationship, try it out. Like I said, it's a little hokey, but it kind of gets you through the funnel of, you know, getting to know somebody quicker. Um, so uh, about what I do, um, I'm an independent insurance broker. I help individuals um, find the right coverage for them based on what's going on in their world, whether they're um, an individual um, or small to medium-sized business. Everybody's got you know, different unique needs, even though the world is trying to you know, uh, make things simple and just give everybody the same policy. You, know, you see all these commercials on TV about insurance. They're all just trying to make you laugh. Uh, but they're not talking about the details. And, um, you know, especially in these metropolitan areas, um, it makes a lot of sense to make sure you know what's going on in your insurance policy. Uh, you know, if you're dealing, if you live in Iowa and, you know, life is pretty simple out there and, and you don't have a lot of complex stuff going on, you might be able to get a boilerplate policy, you know, that you got from a call center, uh, you know, in Kansas City. But, you know, people in metropolitan areas, especially when we're surrounded by high net worth individuals and upwardly mobile people, need to make sure that not only are we protected if our stuff is damaged, but what happens if we do damage to somebody else? 
So, um, yeah, like I said, for who? Um, small to medium-sized business owners and um, individuals who have stuff to lose, uh, property, right? Um, I do help, you know, young professionals that may be finding their first apartment in New York City and just need a renter's policy uh, because their their landlord says they have to. Uh, we, um, you know, our firm is positioned in a way where we can help people with a portfolio of properties. And like I said, somebody smaller who's, who's just starting out and maybe hasn't even bought a property yet. Um, good intros for me, um, realtors, uh, real estate attorneys, loan officers, commercial bankers, financial advisors, um, hard money lenders, general business attorneys, CPAs. You know, a lot of times, most of my business comes when there's a, a new transaction happening. Somebody's buying a property uh, or buying a business. Uh, and then that's when I'm, when I'm brought in uh, to help them, you know, find the right coverage. Uh, and I can find policies that are very rich, uh, very liberal, um, but they're going to pay for it. And, you know, the other way around, that's one of the, uh, the beauties of being an independent broker. I'm not stuck with one insurance company um, and kind of take it or leave it deal. I've got options. And also, you know, back to the claims experience, as an independent broker, my first priority is to the person who had the claim, to my customer. It's not to the company because I don't work for the company. I work for, you know, the, the, our individual policy holders. So um, that's it. Thank you.